We start today's video with a story. Once upon a time, there was a young boy named Smallish Beans. Hello. He decided that he wanted to build a dirt house for an intro of his video. Yep, I did decide that. So he built the dirt house the end. Wow, if that was the best story you've ever heard, make sure to subscribe. I know it was, so I should gain thousands of subscribers from that. Right? Right? Anyway, moving on. Now, we're getting very close to the release of 1.16. And to be honest, I couldn't wait much longer. This update is huge. We've got so much new stuff. And one thing I really want to check out are the new Bastion Remnants. We've got this nice nether portal here which I built just a few seconds ago. Just trying out some of these new blocks such as these chiseled nether bricks. They look cool. Also I just love how these sulfire lanterns look. Let's head to the nether. Now these Bastion Remnants come in lots of different shapes and sizes. You get some decent sized ones. You get some pretty big ones. This one kind of looks like some sort of weird monster. Let me see if I can draw it in paint. Like these are the eyes. This is the mouth, and he's sort of like got a really long tongue. And these remnants add in a new block, which is blackstone. There's lots of different variants of blackstone, from the regular old blackstone block here, to the polished version, to the polished bricks, cracked bricks, and even chiseled bricks. Plus the gilded one, which when you mine, kind of there's a small chance of getting gold nuggets from these when you break them, which is increased when you have fortune on them as you can see here. Apparently it'll make the piglings very mad at you as well if you mine it. These bastion remnants also contain a lot of gold blocks, plus lots of piglins as you can see here, who will be aggressive towards you if you're not wearing gold armor. And also, if I can find one, there should be chests of loot, but I'm struggling to find one. This is another bastion remnant. Here's the room with the chests. As you can see, there's lots of guards around in the chests. You occasionally get soul speed books, some of these new chain blocks, some spectral arrows, gold armor, etc. Good luck getting that with ease with all these dudes around. So today, we're going to try and make one of these things look a little better, as at the moment, they're just a bit messy, aren't they? They're cool looking. I will admit it, they're very cool looking. But they've got that Minecraft randomly generated feeling. And you know what? Let's convert this one here because I've had an idea with that face thing to make this a pretty cool build. So I think we're going to start with these pillar things here. Let's make it look like new again, shall we? And also probably we'll work on this front bit as well. I've got my boy LazyBeans26 in here. LazyBeans, this is a look, but... I feel like we need to represent, there we go, Shrek will live on through my Lazy Beans cat account. Oh, this is awkward. We're wearing the same outfit. Anyway, let's get to work on this bit, shall we? Now, I normally record time lapses with the replay mod, but obviously this is a snapshot, so there is no replay mod for it. So I'm sorry, these time lapses are just quite static, but as you can see, we're building some really fun pillars. I built the same one and then just replicated it twice. I actually it changed it a little bit in the way, added in some blue flame because I just really want to try some of these soul fire flame things. And then we moved on to making this bridge look kind of cool. It's sort of like a walkway entrance I think it's meant to be so I sort of just like neatened it up a little bit made it a bit more symmetrical on both sides I'm basically just trying to make this thing not look like a ruin anymore not a remnant but whatever it was meant to be in the first place a bastion I guess I normally like making builds where things look kind of ruined or sort of overgrown but today we're just trying to make it look quite new and interesting and so far, I think it's looking pretty good, but I've gone a bit over the top with lanterns, I will admit. I'm going to actually remove some of these as they're looking a bit too crazy. There we go. I think that's looking a bit better, a little bit more natural. The problem with these bastion things is that the biome they're in, the never waste, is just so dark and dingy. So I've had to brighten my screen in the editing process. But I use some of these new warped trap doors here to make these pillars up here. So when you walk into the entrance now... It just looks a bit neater, a bit nicer. So next up, obviously, we need to work on this part here. I might just get rid of this gold thing. I don't really know what it is. Is it just their gold stash? I have no idea. I think I might actually change these blocks to, like, red never brick because I really want to make this thing into, like, some sort of crazy monster. And this can be its tongue. It might look a bit weird, but you know what? I'm going to go with it. Not all bases have to look like buildings. So I basically just replaced this sort of blackstone and the basalt on the top with some red never brick, some red never warp blocks and also that new warped like block thing you know the one that makes the purple wood i can't remember what it's called and it made this really funky looking tongue i don't know why it just looks so funny to me and then we also worked on the nose as well i gave him some like bo bogeys at first i don't know why i thought oh that looks cool it didn't look cool and i just tried to make a gold ring to put on his nose i don't know okay this thing is looking wacky made this into a nose as you can see here it's like just sort of above the tongue 
which is sticking out right now. And I put a nose ring in his nose. I don't know why I thought that looked quite fun. We're actually going to work on the whole body and face now. And, and I think we're going to actually have to move a lot of this Neverack here so he can see his other shoulder. So this might actually take a while. Let's hope uh, it doesn't take too long without World Edit. And it actually didn't because I remembered, oh yeah, there's TNT. Obviously I had to be careful with it not to blow up any Blackstone. But the bits further away blew it up with ease. And we actually managed to make him look like he has a shoulder now. And speaking of which... It's time we neatened up that whole body. At the bottom, it was just all like very like rough and just looked like a mountain sort of terrain. So we decided to give him some arm shape sort of thing. I actually put spikes on the top of his shoulders. I thought that looked quite cool. Plus I put some like veins going down his arms because he's a big, strong, muscly creature thing that I've literally no idea what he is. He just looks like a weird wolf mix of something. So here you go. It's kind of hard to see in that time lapse, but you can see I put some like veins in his arms like here and here. Here we got these spikes on top. I changed all the blocks from the regular old blackstone you see here to the polished blackstone. And I think it's looking good. I've realized now that I'm pretty sure his head isn't symmetrical. So we're going to have to fix that because that's what we're going to work on next. I've also realized he doesn't have a neck and his body sort of like blends in with his face, which looks kind of weird. So there's going to be some interesting re-sculpturing. Try and make this look okay. But let's work on the face first. Let's give him some ears and stuff. I do like this basalt and I love the lava eyes. But I might add some like glass in front of the lava to neaten it up a little bit. Let's see what we can come up with. So hopefully we can turn this guy from a derpy looking weird monster thing into a presentable monster. I've given him a bit of like face structure here. I neatened out his eye area as you can see although this was a bit painful and he cried a few lava tears as you can see here. I also put some glass in front of it and also tried to work out where his second horny ear thing would go. It took me way too long to make that try and look symmetrical but we got there in the end and he is looking tenacious if I do say so myself. I think the horns are still slightly uneven but you can't really tell too much. Most people Hopefully can't tell. And I'm actually not going to change the body. I think the body kind of looks like he's got some sort of like fur or abs in some way. So I'm going to leave that the same. I think it actually fits quite well. So we're going to leave that alone completely. I also added in some teeth, which I forgot to mention. Just a few, nothing too crazy. But I think it really shows the tongue coming out of his mouth now. Although we're actually probably going to extend the tongue into his mouth a bit more. And start working on some of this inside. We need to sort of like make a staircase up. But there's actually not that much space in here. Like this thing is quite thin at the back. It's looking a bit of a mess. So we're going to have to sort that out. We might have to go down into his belly a little bit as well. But we're not going to make a crazy base in here. Just sort of like a never sort of base. As obviously you can't have your main base in the never. Where would you sleep? So while I was recording that previous clip. I actually forgot that there was a walkway underneath. Which actually leads into the base. So for this top room. Which is the mouth sort of thing. I thought let's just make it a fun chest room. You can sort of fly in. Get all your stuff. You got all your tools you need. It's easy. So I used some more never water. I did in some of these new vine things. What they call weeping vines. Put a load of chests down. We got a crafting table. Anvil. Furnaces. Just stuff that you would might need in the never. There's nothing really you would need. And from a it actually works really well because of the vines. I think that looks cool. It sort of looks like he's sort of frothing at the mouth. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, look, there's actually an entrance under here. I forgot this. This cool walkway up to it. Oh, lazy beans. What are you doing here? And then we've got space here for expansion. And I do like this sort of look with the lava flowing down. So I might work into that somehow. But I'm going to have to leave space for some rooms and stuff. And also the piglins are so annoying. I don't know where they are. They're trapped inside here somewhere. They're so loud. So in survival, you'd have to just make sure you're wearing gold all the time or kill them all, really, to be honest. But either way, let's see what we can do with this little section here. I think we'll get some rooms coming off this. So this room felt like really claustrophobic. So I decided to raise the ceiling a little bit and also added in some nice new floor using lots of new blocks. The basalt blocks plus some of these warped wood blocks. I used some of the stripped ones and some of the planks. It just looks really cool. And then I made that little cool glowing effect with the fog in the center. Added in some lanterns and just neatened it up a little bit, you know? And I think the result is pretty cool in here. I love the lava flowing down sill. We didn't get rid of that. I just put these pillars in front of it and kneaded it up a little bit with the trap doors. And I also removed one on either side and made these corridors because this is where we're going to have our rooms. And the first room we're going to have is a portal room because obviously we need a way to actually get to our nether base. So we're going to add a portal room in here with a cool looking nether portal. 
And then I'm not sure what to do on the other side. Maybe we'll think of something. So I've been using quite a lot of the warped blocks in these builds. So I thought, you know what? Let's try out some of these new crimson blocks. Get a bit of a different color theme going in this portal room. Of course, we've still got the warped floor, but I actually sort of blended in some of the other blocks plus some never warped as well, just to try and make a different looking floor. Like it's the sort of never joining the world. I don't know what it's meant to do. I just thought it looked cool, to be honest. <laughs> also, I always forget that in creative mode, when you walk into a portal, it's instant. Like, you just go straight through to the other side. So, I was adding some lights on up here, and I kept just doing this by accident. You might have noticed it in the time lapse. We got a real keen eye. But I think that looks cool. And from this sort of corridor here, you can see, like, it's a huge portal room. Just lots of cool, fun, new nether blocks in here. Now, for the final room, obviously, we can't have a bedroom. But I thought, what else would you really ever need in the nether? Maybe an enchanting room. So I think we'll do that in this little section here. And then that'll probably complete the base. Although it looks massive on the outside, we actually haven't done that much to it apart from just reshape some of this stuff and this bit down here. So let's add this enchanting room in. Hopefully it looks okay. And we've got to be careful that we don't burn all the bookshelves. So for this room, I wanted to make it look like it's in the never still, but also have a bit more of a sort of library feel to it. So we added in some dark oak, some spruce, etc. And it ended up looking quite cute. As you can see, it's got kind of a different vibe to these rooms, which are all like bluey and ready. This one here is a bit lighter, a bit nicer. We've got some never stuff in here, though. All the flowers and the skulls and stuff can be found in the never. But we've got our enchanting table, which, yes, you can enchant your sword. But sharpness free, that's rubbish. That's why I put a grindstone in here as well, which we can then disenchant it. There we go. Fire aspect two. So much better. Ha ha ha. But with that, I think we've completed the base. We've got our two rooms in here. A little corridor of fun here. This cool new platform with the bridge. I think that looks just really cool. And then of course, a massive long tongue leading into our chest room where we've got loads of different cool items. And if we pan out, we've got our scary monster thing. Yeah, he's pretty creepy, but I like it. So now for the final comparison shot, here is the before and here is the after. I'm happy with it. I think it's turned out looking really scary and pretty cool. But that's just my opinion. It's up to you guys to tell me what you think in the comments down below. But that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like as well. And I shall see you another time. Oh yeah, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you. Goodbye.